we do not have a name. The only name we hold and honor is the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. To take any other name is to insult Him. The church is something unique in the universe. The name of the church is the church. The Bible only calls each church by the name of the place where it is. There is no other name. When the church was established in Jerusalem, it was known simply as a church in Jerusalem. And in Antioch, the church was the church at Antioch. Likewise, the practical expression of the church here in the now where I am today is simply the church in the now. As local churches, we meet in the Lord's name on the ground of genuine oneness. However, many Protestant groups today have special names. Some are named after people such as the Lutheran Church and the Wesleyan Church. Some are named after nations such as Anglican Church and the Chinese Church of Christ. Some are named after an item of the truth such as the Church of Justification by Faith and the Holiness Church. Some are named after a system such as the Presbyterian Church, a system of elders administrating the church. And some are named after a ritual such as a Baptist Church. There are many other names such as the Charismatic Church, the Church of the Apostolic Faith, the Pentecostal Church. Whenever specific names are used, small circles are drawn within the boundary of a locality. These small circles become different grounds. Once a Christian group has this kind of ground, it loses the ground of the church and thus become a sect, a denomination. Hence, these Christians are not building up the church in their locality. They are building up their denominations, their sects. This is mainly because they have special names. Their names are their ground making them sex or denominations. We should never think that having a special name is a small matter. This is something that greatly offends the Lord. Names are a serious matter. All that we have is in the Lord's name. We are saved in the Lord's name. We are baptized into His name and called by His name. We meet in His name and we pray in His name. The Apostle beseech us to be one through the name of the Lord. The Lord praised the church in Philadelphia for not denying His name. The matter of a name definitely touches the Lord's heart. According to church history, the Lord's word of praise to the church in Philadelphia was practically and richly fulfilled when the brethren were raised up approximately 100 years ago. They put away all names other than the Lord's. This is the proper we should take only the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, not any other name. We should be only of Christ, not of Luther, Wesley, or England. We should not take any name other than the name of the Lord. As soon as a Christian group takes a special name other than the Lord's name, divisions that is sex will be formed. God doesn't want believers to say, I am of Paul, I am of Paulus, or I am of Cephas. He reproves all these things. God is not pleased with any special name. God does not approve of this. We should not have any name other than the Lord's name. There should not be a Roman Catholic Church, Lutheran Church, Wesleyan Church, Anglican Church, Presbyterian Church, or any other type of church because none of these names are according to the Bible. Why don't you drop the other name you have taken? If you would drop this other name, then we could be one. All other names cause divisions. But if we take away all these names, there will be oneness in the body of Christ. If the Lutheran Church take away the Lutheran and keep the church, and if the Baptist Church take away the name Baptist, what will remain is church. Because I'm here in the now city, Cebu, there will be only one church here that is the church in the now city. No special name, but just the church in locality as the local expression of the body of Christ. There's no division but oneness for the building up of the body of Christ.